coaches, it's Kathleen Petula. I want to talk about challenge groups today and why they're so vital to our business. So first of all, challenge groups are really the bread and butter of our business because ultimately it's how we have the most opportunity to help our customers succeed. When we give our challengers a great experience in a group, they ultimately have a better chance of reaching their goals. It doesn't really matter what their goals are, whether it's weight loss, strength, toning, nutrition, all of these things can be better accomplished when they're in a group, getting the motivation and support and accountability that our challenge groups provide. But it doesn't stop there. They have a great experience, they're a healthier person, we feel wonderful as coaches. But then they also, when they have a great experience, are much more likely to become lifelong customers. They'll stay on their Shakeology if they understand the importance of it and they understand why it's so valuable, but they'll also be much more likely to buy new products from us, join additional challenge groups, and be a part of our network of customers. It doesn't stop there though. When customers have an amazing experience in a challenge group, they're much more likely to make referrals to us. People will be noticing their success and asking them how they did it, or people will just naturally want to talk about something that they've had a great experience in, and that will lead to them reaching other people that maybe we could ultimately help. And it doesn't stop there. When coaches have a wonderful experience, they become lifelong customers and they start making referrals to us, ultimately, many of these people might actually become our coaches. And that's how we really grow in this business. It's about developing a team of people that can pay it forward and continue to help more people and more people and more people. Together we can help so many more people reach their goals than just one of us alone as the coach. And there's a statistic out there that 80% of diamond coaches actually started out in challenge groups themselves. So guess where we get amazing coaches? Many of them, the majority of them, come from people who have had great experiences in challenge groups. So hopefully you see now why it's so vital to have, let people have an amazing experience in a challenge group. Ultimately, they go from customer to somebody who's a lifelong customer to somebody who's making referrals to us, and then maybe, possibly, hopefully, becoming a coach themselves and starting the process again. So how can we make our groups much more successful? How can we increase the likelihood that a group's gonna take off and somebody's gonna have an amazing experience? I believe in the beginning, we have to start before we even put these people in a challenge group by helping them understand the value of the challenge group and the expectations of the group. So ultimately, we need to find people who are really willing to go all in in the challenge group and willing to put forth the effort, the time, and the participation that it takes to make a group successful. So I like to talk to my challengers before putting them in the group and let them know what to expect. I like to tell them that we're going to check in daily, that we're going to start together, we're going to stop together, we're, nobody quits, and we're all going to push forward. And this helps the challengers understand what they're getting from the group, what they're going to get out of it, and how they're going to proceed. Second is, for coaches, it's vital that we be present in the group. That means checking in daily whether we have one person in the group or if we have the entire group of challengers as our customers, it doesn't matter. Showing your challenger that you are their coach by being present in the group is absolutely vital. That means checking in, liking, commenting, posting, being there for our challengers whether they're having a great day, an off day, a hugely successful day, or whether they have questions. We don't need to know the answers to all the questions, right? But we need to be able to help them find the answers and we need to be able to direct them to places where they can get what they need. We also need to organize the groups. We have lots of groups that run in our team and often we have multiple coaches in the group. But what we really need is for people to organize the groups at the beginning. And that means figuring out what template are we gonna use? How many weeks is this group gonna be? Who can post when? How will they, we know who's posting when? And ultimately, who can help organize this in a way that everybody is on the same page when we start? When the coaches are organized, then the challenge group feels more organized and the challengers have a much better experience. There are amazing templates that you can use both in the, the back office of Beachbody and created in our group specific towards basically every group out there. 
whether the group is a short free group or whether the group is a long 90 day group, we have templates all over the place. So posting in the group is no problem. You can literally just copy and paste something in the group and that in that way you can provide great value to your challengers. Next is putting you in the group. And by that I mean being creative and figuring out what makes you, you, and why people were attracted to you in the first place. So if you are somebody that really enjoys humor, maybe you want to add jokes in the group. Or if you are somebody of deep, uh, deep faith, then maybe you want to add something spiritual in the group. If you're somebody that has a, a very strong passion about clean eating, then maybe add some more recipes in the group. Whatever it is, make sure it's you and make sure you are adding you to the group so your challengers that were drawn to you for a very good reason see your presence in the group. Finally, follow up. This is absolutely key. So when you see challengers in the group, whether they are participating every single day or whether they're not participating at all, following up with them is absolutely vital. Why? Because they need to have a relationship with you, their coach, no matter what's going on in the group. So following up with them means checking in with them on a regular basis. How's it going? Thanks for posting that the other day. Or, hey, I haven't heard from you. How's it going? Whatever it is, make sure you are engaged with your challenger. They need to hear from you, their coach, and they need to be engaged with you so that they can have the best success. Hope all that makes sense. So glad you're here with us. Let's go have some amazing challenge groups.